Hello everyone, my name is Martin and in this video I am going to show you how to create presets for Lightroom and Camera using Camera Filter. So I'm going to show you two examples. First we are going to create the preset based on the RAW file and then we are going to create the preset using TIFF or JPEG file. So I'm going to start with the RAW. And first few things that I have to tell you is how you want to create your preset. You don't really want to manipulate too much with the exposure. Why? Because sometimes you have raw files a little bit darker. Sometimes you have raw files a little bit brighter. So you want to keep the lights rather universal, but more of a work you want to put into the colors of the preset. So what I'm going to do, I am going to increase the contrast and bring up some shadows. This is the step I want to do that will affect slightly exposure. I want to go to curve adjustment layer. I want to play a little bit with the curve adjustment layer to wash out the shadows and the highlights to make them a little bit soften. Just like this. What else we could do this? We can also manipulate with vibrance and saturation, but I am going to go to hue saturation luminance and first of all, I want to take down some luminance from the sky, so it will be a little bit darker. I'm going to take down some saturation and I'm going to change the hue because I want to create this uh, cyan sky for this kind of images. So let's say this preset is for summer images with blue sky and the yellow sand. From the sand, I'm going to take saturation as well to make it more of a white and increase the luminosity on the yellows. Something very simple, I don't want to complicate this. And once you are happy with the settings, you might save your present. So I'm going to hit save settings. If you don't want one element to be applied, so if you applied some clarity, but you don't want this, you can just uncheck the box. So I'm going to save it. I'm going to name this as the number one in the folder I chose somewhere. Uh, save, replace, because I already created one before. Um, and I always create the folder because first I want to create few presets and then apply them to uh, Lightroom presets. But of course you can save them straight away to Lightroom. But in this video I'm showing you how to save few and then how to copy them to the Lightroom presets. So uh, this is done. I'm going to hit done and we're going to test it on the other image if it works. So I'm going to choose this small icon here again, load settings and apply this number one preset. And as you can see, the same settings as we did for the other image are applied here. So our preset is done. Now I'm going to show you how to create a present based on T file or JPEG file when we have to go to camera as the filter. So I'm going to copy this background layer by choosing Command or Control and J. And on this layer number one, I'm going to name this CR as camera and convert this to smart object. So I'm going to hit Control, right? convert to smart object. Why? Because I want to work non-destructively, so I want to go back to camera at any time if I need some corrections. If I will check, for example, and it will come that my present doesn't work so well. So then I'm going to filter, camera filter, and once again, I'm going to apply some settings here. So I apply some contrast, bring up some shadows, take down some highlights in this case. Also, I want to increase a little bit of the vibrance and a little bit of the clarity. Then I'm going to hue saturation luminance, darken the sky a little bit, lower saturation, but be careful with this blue color because you don't want to overdo it, of course. And also I'm going to change the hue here. It's just something I like. Also, I'm going to increase the saturation on oranges and yellows because I want to get closer to the autumn colors a little bit. And also for the yellows, I'm going to change the hue because I want this orangey golden colors on this image. So I'm 
manipulating with this a little bit and maybe a little bit of the curve as well just not too much something like this don't want to complicate this too much once again it's more of a, a show how to create the preset for yourself with settings the ones you like once it's ready i'm going to save settings i'm going to save it as the number two save and that's okay so now everything is done we can locate our folder on the computer so i'm choosing the folder where i was creating this which is create presets test presets and i'm going to copy this test presets folder hit right and copy then if i want to install this to my lightroom of course you know you can use this in your camera but if i want to copy this to my lightroom now i am going to lightroom and preferences in the preferences you need to choose show all other lightroom presence so i'm choosing this and you're not going to lightroom but you are going in camera from the recent updates that's where our presets are located so then settings and here is the folder where we apply our presets so hit right paste item the test presets are copied now what you need to do you need to close your lightroom and open this again so your presets will be available in the lightroom i'm going to do this and going to come back to you in a second now as we are back in lightroom on the left hand side in the develop panel you have the panel presets open this and on the bottom you should have user presets open this and here i have some of my other presets that i created that i also sell on my website if you are interested and also i have number one and number two which are the presets that i created myself before a second as you can see it might be not necessarily something truly amazing uh, for me but this is how you create i think it actually looks better than before but this is how you create the presets and this is how you can easily match all images with one effect just by creating preset and then applying the effect to all of your other images as you can see this preset in this case it's not really good because it's actually very uh, dark and there was some settings applied before so you need to make sure that your presets are actually matching uh, the certain images as you can see this preset was matching the images which were not really raw but which were jpeg images that's why we have a little bit a uh, different outcome of this in this case so make sure you create the present that will will be universal when you create this from raw file remember about the specification of the raw file that it's a little bit dark and uh, that it has deeper shadow so you need to adjust all of these things but this is how you create the presets thank you for watching and i hope i'm going to see you in the next photoshop tutorial thank you for watching